Hey everybody, it's Dr. Eric Balcavage and we're back for another edition of Methylation Monday. And today I want to talk to you about how to explain what's going on with your patients so they can understand it and translate that to friends and family. Now, most of us, if we're dealing with methylation, and if you're coming to this site, you're dealing with patients who are chronically ill. They've seen multiple medical physicians already. They've probably seen multiple functional medicine practitioners already. And they're coming to you and they've got boatloads of labs and maybe they have lab, maybe you've done some additional testing and you've evaluated their history, all that lab work, you've done an evaluation and now you've sat your patient down for a report of findings to explain why they have the symptoms, why they have this uh, deteriorating health and you've identified this web of dysfunction of problems and you explain to the person that Mrs. Jones, the reason you have your symptoms is because you have blood sugar dysregulation, you have adrenal dysfunction, you have some problems with thyroid function and thyroid physiology, your GI tract and your, your GI system is not functioning well. Matter of fact, you have yeast and bacterial overgrowth, you have malabsorption issues going on, you're not absorbing nutrients appropriately, you've got this thing called leaky gut syndrome that's causing increased inflammation, and you've got food intolerances and food sensitivities. This is all impacting your neurotransmitters, the chemicals that really run your brain and affect mood and temperament. You've got chronic inflammation going on. Your hormones are dysregulated. That's why your cycle's dysregulated. You have immune and autoimmune issues and your circulation's compromised and that's what's causing your symptoms, Mrs. Jones, and that's what we have to fix. And I've explained it to patients that this is what's going on and, you, and you're proud of yourself for doing all this work. And the patient looks at you and says, yeah, but what's wrong with me? What do you call it? And I never really took that to heart until just recently when a patient said to me, I get it and I feel better, but I need to be able to explain this to my spouse and to my friends and to my family. What was actually wrong with me that's now better? Because all that stuff you said, I get it, I get it to some degree, and maybe they don't get it, but they need a simple way to explain it, and this is too hard to explain. And so I've switched to calling this, this web of dysfunction, multi-system dysregulation disorder. And I simply explained to the patient that, Mrs. Jones, all the systems in the body interrelate. The GI tract is connected to the brain, and the brain's connected to the immune system, and, and the hormones, and, the, and all of the systems are inter, interrelate. So when one system has a problem, all of the systems are affected. So what you have, Mrs. Jones, is exactly this, multi-system dysregulation disorder. And these are all the systems that are compromised right now. And my job as your doc was to figure this out and now the second job as your doctor is to help you fix this in the most efficient way possible with changes in diet, lifestyle, and supplementation to help you regain your health. So what you have, Mrs. Jones, is a multi-system dysregulation disorder. And the reason we're going to be able to help you is because we're going to fix these individual systems. And you need somebody like me who's trained to identify this and then to know how to fix it. And so... When your patients come in, it's great to kind of let them know all the systems that are compromised, but if they leave with that deer in the headlights look like, I don't really know what's wrong, I don't know what to call it, it's gonna be hard for them to explain it to friends and family. So I think you wanna keep it as simple as possible. Give them a word, a name, that they can kind of grab a hold of. You have multi, I have multi-system dysregulation disorder. That's what's wrong with me. And then you can explain these other things, but they can walk out of the office knowing that there's a name for the thing they have, okay? So hopefully that helps you. It's, so far it's helped me in my practice help, our, help my patients understand that there's this complex thing that's going on, but a simple name called multi-system dysregulation disorder is how they can explain it, okay? So hopefully, that, hopefully that's helpful and uh, look for another Another video next Monday.